I think a conference like this is important to have because we unite minds and people together. It's very important that we remain in solidarity within each other. I think it's just so that we can learn from each other and learn how some other people are taking other steps in other topics or in other studies. And that's why it's so important for young people to, to get involved in, in politics right now. But also it's not all about politics, right? It's a personal level of relationship building as we're pushing for a more um, democratic system. The only way we're gonna be learning is by, by making mistakes. And so we have to get comfortable making mistakes, changing our minds, being honest about those things. Cause I think we, we need to, we really need to challenge sort of this idea that there's experts in things and you don't step in until you're hundred percent sure because it's too urgent right now. So we need to get engaged, but we need to know it's gonna be messy. Just the very act of us coming together is a celebration of the meaning of democracy. Indigenous young people only need an opportunity um, to be able to show you that our ancestors were right, that kindness is the way, generosity, sharing, and caring are the ways of the future. We systemically try to suppress the voice of young people when it's the only voice that we should be listening to. We shame young people for being lazy and for, for not caring, for being inexperienced, but then when we try to make a change and we try to make our voice heard, then we're told that like, oh, you can't even vote yet, or like, you're so inexperienced, you, you shouldn't have a voice on this. 16-year-old girls are told constantly that we're not smart and we're not strong. But 16-year-old girls are, I think, the smartest, strongest demographic that exists right now. Yeah.